got a co-host here, Preach, all the way from Brisbane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout-outs to our sponsors, Union Heights, Dogs of War Photography, Battle Rap Australia. We've got a crazy battle about to go down. To my left, representing Melbourne, we got Cardi. Yeah! yeah. Representing Christchurch, New Zealand, we got Miles Murphy. Yeah. 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 What's up? Miles 13, Christchurch, let's go. Alright, we decided off cam and uh, Miles is going first, so round one of Miles, let's go. Yo, what's up, Melbourne? Yeah. Yeah. They said I'd never be back, because before I battled Creepy J, I was talking all that. And then I showed up. Oh shit. <laughs> I'll admit. And tonight I plan to make up for it. So salute real talk. I'm glad we could sort this out. But we'll leave don't flop hoes for now because we know that's all you're going to talk about. Yeah. What it do, Carney? You little poo nanny. <laughs> Yo, what a do, Carney? You little poo nani. You look like the product of a bogan bukaki. I'm surprised your mother survived that semen tsunami. Come on. Yo. You're pretty much the Australian Dante. Good behind the scenes, but on stage not so well. Holding on for dear life off the real talk coattails Just for me to get flown out to smoke you in front of your home crowd I expect a true rhyme showdown, not a who's lying hoedown You're losing the first already, who's getting 3 0 now? Tia, bro, your last 10 battles got like 7 views combined <laughs> And if you look past that it's a steady decline. And they say Kiwis can't fly, and we're scared of the shine. But he had to battle an MC from NZ, cause our scene's on the rise. So I'll take him yeah, under my facts. wings, just to compete at new heights. Yeah. Cause it's your first chance against the season Barsmith, and in your hometown. But I don't need the advantage, release the carnage. You'll see Kanye get carved by the beast incarnate. Rap aficionado, punch like Junior Sagano. I'm mellow, but I'll Tony Soprano, homies bravado. Godfather like Papa Shango. But your eyes closed and face blue like a Picasso. <coughs> well, you talk about your hands a lot. Cause you're amateur box. But we'll see what happens when the camera's off. Cause you aren't fighting your foes. You look like you're fighting stage fright, barely finding your flows. You wanna scrap that badly? You cash this right to the dome, think Adam's family. Cause this thing has a mind of its own. Yes. Yes. The sky is a clone. How you beating the reach of Verajal with the speed of Pacquiao? If I take you down, New Zealand's gonna hear you tapping out. Yes. Need I say more? You know my style? This shit's a cakewalk. You think you're winning? You're tripping. On a claymore. I might have lost a couple Ooh. times, but so is Fedor. Let's get it. No. Yeah. 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 Real talk, Melbourne. Second event. I've been taking some heat. Too long between drinks is what some saying to me. So tonight we're showing that we're playing for keeps. I mean, shit, we've flown out the best from NZ. And then we gave him the creep. See, you ain't a big catch, Miles, just my third option. Say this a favor to me, it's a favor to you that you got this. Cause these days my name's popping. Mr. 3 RD's back with a vein throbbing. I came to give you the same problems I gave Bronson. You get A or B. Either way, no safe option. Whatever I want, I take off him. Even when he's dead at the end, I ain't stopping. I just change up my game to Grave Robin. Then I flee from the scene, I take off with money in the bag. Like train spot. Yeah. Yeah. It's my time now, go and call the bookie. Put some big bucks on the broady bully. What you call a vet? I still call a rookie. Now, what you call a threat? I still call a pussy. Cause I see no hop. Just this gimmicky fashion. The shit's a distraction. To hide the fact you don't su- To hide the fact you don't supply the fans that- Ah, fuck. 
The shit's a distraction to hide the fact you don't provide the fans a single figment or fraction of living with passion. Just an image that happens to be more well constructed than his limited talents. See, you ain't a legend, Miles. You're a joke to these folks. 18 battles. You can count on one finger any notable quotes. And it'll act tough, but we know the real Miles will show when he chokes. And even if he don't, the possibility still flies through his mind, questioning his efforts every time that he rhymes. I guess it's only fitting he spells Miles not with an I but a Y. Yeah. See, the real battle is happening. <laughs> On the inside, he's wondering. Or praise is his name deserving? Hence in his verses, he refers to himself in third person more than he talks on the actual person that he's versing. You ain't complex, you've just got an inferior complex lurking. Underneath the ice grill, Miles feels like he'll never be what he said that he'd become. So you talk about your early efforts, like it's the best you've ever done. But when it's your best, you said your best was yet to come. Shit, I see through the smoke and mirrors and notice this isn't a legend Cause a legend can stand on a legacy You just go through the motions and demand respect for a legacy we've never seen yeah. Whoa! Okay. Mr. Third Round. Hold up. Yo, I hear you, Mr. Third Round. That's what's up. I saw your third, your third verse Bronson. And it sucked. You and him. A whack as fuck. Fuck. See, you choke, now I am. But I still think you're shit. This hiding's gonna stick with you for life like that shit on Preacher's lip. <laughs> that's why I'm surprised you're the guy that's representing the lead. Clearly out for yourself. How can they expect you to lead? Challenging me as if you're the catalyst to the battling scene. The next one out events is called South Pack and you ain't on the Australian team. But since this is real talk, you know I'm bringing facts. Your jokes, quit ducking, and you're getting bodied when I get back. Oh, fuck it. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Round two, Alcardi. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you went on Don't Flop, and what did you do? Jesus, Miles, use your fucking brain. If you needed instructions, it was in the fucking name. And verse Stringer, <laughs> and verse Stringer, he said he gasped like BP. <sighs> Miles, please leave. <laughs> no wonder when I said I was versing Miles Murphy, most said, fuck that cunt. After that verse, I'm thinking Miles Murphy, even the second Eminem comeback sucks. And I'm far from mild man, but at least I don't have Miles Manor. The fucking ego in him, just cause he travels, don't trip and think that Miles matter. Yeah. I'm here to teach Miles manners. He can get a lesson in etiquette. For every sentence he said that with such an abundance of trouble and petulance prevalent. He talks big, but the substance he comes with has nothing impressive as evidence. So Miles, go and keep talking. Or have you not known where you are when you wake like sleepwalking? Yeah. Your stock of form can keep falling. This Norton meets Foreman. Kiwi try to do what I do. I'm something different. If it punch like Sonny Billboard, I punch like Sonny Listen. Yeah. So Miles are getting done dirty. No way this chump worthy. Who have to revert to tackling if he want to come hurt me? But you're getting no sacks here, just some bleeding gums, Murphy. Oh. Ah. Right. And if he want to roll, I'll pick him apart. He's the bitch in the cast. And to put him there, all it takes is a little twist of the arm. Because he's just a keyboard warrior who goes online and calls other people. Keyboard warriors. <laughs> I'm doing you the favor when I snatch that keyboard off of you and tell you to your face, you're a keyboard warrior. Yes. See, I'd rather be known as the pisshead who falls over and lives that wildlife yeah. than be that Miles type. I'm out drinking, gambling, hitting the nightlife while Miles types. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm a weapon when yes. I'm out. I put my life on the line while Miles is just living through an online life. Tapping away as his career skydives. I mean, shit, you gone from dreams of trips to Canada to being an ambassador to nowadays where he's simply seen as an embarrassment. 
even one else ignoring him, but he keep on harassing him. And the mob like, hey bro, it's Miles, I've got a fever. d like, Miles? Ha! <laughs> Sorry, player. And what you got to wager, the dosh I gave ya? A measly 3.30, I made that back and all the cats who came to see me beat Murphy. One round to go. Yo, this motherfucker sucks! And so do the rest of you. <laughs> Just because you're the host doesn't mean I have respect for you. I'm here to do what you pretend to do. Execute. Who you step into. You had to pay for me to be here because I got that revenue. For the business. Before this, I never knew you existed. So for me, this could have been a stupid decision. But I had to come back to Melbourne to prove I was different. But this dude's a fucking idiot. You're useless at spitting. The people have spoken, Kanye. Clearly you didn't listen. The staff taking the internationals is practically real talk tradition. I guess I'm just here to congratulate you on your position. You want to host and battle the internationals. Who are you kidding? How about you take a step back and improve the division? Instead of flying me here to scab some views from New Zealand. Because that's the real talk. It's just whether you choose to admit it. You're a fucking... Yeah, real talk, eh? Wait, you're a fucking no-name in your own lane. Now it don't seem so strange. I fly over to Melbourne, all of a sudden you're co-main. You get less views for Australian battles than I do. I think that means even your own country doesn't like you. Desperate to impress your hometown, but I don't need to try to. I think he's starting to realise this matchup wasn't such a wise move. See, the two people I know that have heard of you think you're a fucking loser. <laughs> you, you wouldn't get a pity reaction from Karma Suda. You were trying to intimidate me like some armed intruder. Fuck you and your boys, this about who's the sharpest shooter. But I wonder if the crowds realise that you ain't a host. You're the parasite. I'll paralyze your paradigm with a round of mine. A samurai battle cry. Carney's about to die. You must be out your mind. They set the record straight so it resonates. I'm a heavyweight, cooking every day. Set the day anyone can get a plate. I've been painting flames since M and J were renegades. Now you can go on the net and say what you want, but the facts will never change. While you cowered in the corners, I was standing center stage. It's hard. <laughs> Sorry about that. Me, my opponents turn white as a Jewish guy at a time of the rise of the third rock. Because when Luke up to the third, the goosebumps then emerge. Clown and Miles was fun, but the truth cuts even worse. See, his career's at a crossroads, just like Britney Murphy. And after this drops, his career dies like Britney Murphy. Ooh. See, from the jump, I have Miles measure. His star's weathered, and Miles better have paid back the people that supplied cheddar. Because others funded his last trip. Just for him to come here and get that arrogant ass whipped. Yes, but we should have known we get a soft copy of Mars when we saw the lack of paper. Took friends' money to fly to Australia just to pull a Hannah Baker where he died from a razor. Ooh. And see, a loss would have been accepted if you put in what's expected. But he couldn't because when pressured, he goes looking for an exit. So he shouldn't be respected, just seen for what he is. Or could have been pathetic. But he'll still strut around with this terrible sense of entitlement. In the sense he's got no sense of what his title is. I'll help you out, Mr. Overrated. Mr. Shown is fake when he hoped to make a statement. You can go and fuck yourself, Mr. Choke, and don't explain it. Tell him! Oh. Tell him. See, he said sorry for the last degree with a sarcastic smirk. What happened, Miles? Leading up to the battle, were you, str were you trapped at work? Not at the event? Were you racked with nerves? Your fans aren't even asking for an excuse they haven't heard. Just give them something to justify why all their cash you burnt. And I can't front. I'm no show verse creepy even worse. But the difference is in how I treated who I burnt. 
I'll pay back Kamira every cent he spent, cause that's what he deserved. I chucked Jay a couple bucks for his next event, and see, I always keep my word. You fled from this scene, and disappeared for a year in New Zealand too. I stayed and made up for my mistakes, cause that's what real men do. <laughs> Wants us all to look at his career through rose-colored glasses. I look at it now as me throwing those last petals of a rose on his casket. He been dead from the second. Now nah, that's retarded. This boy been dead from the second that I started. So this whole round is just kicking a corpse. But still they all want to give it applause and call it the round of my career. Just because it's a round that finishes yours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Second event. What the fuck is it called? Burn Legacy, cause I just burn Murphy's fake legacy once and for all. Oh. Burn C. Oh. Yeah.